Okay, so I've made this side four, this side nine. We're dealing with the Hinge theorem here. The angle in between, the included angle, we'll make it a 30 degree angle. And that third side, let's make it, um, so that's a 30 degree angle. Let's make that third side be about 10 units. Okay, now I'm gonna draw a similar triangle, well not similar, I'm gonna draw another triangle with the same lengths, but a different included angle. So nine, uh, make that a four, make that a bit smaller. Okay, there we go. And, okay. And let's make this side 100, make this angle 100 degrees. And this side will make 12. So if you notice, we have two sets of congruent sides. Would you agree? Yes. Okay, so we have two sets of congruent sides. We see that the smaller angle is across from the smaller of the two third sides, right? 30 is smaller than 100, therefore 10 is smaller than 12. That's the Hinge theorem, that's all it is. That is it. And of course, if you're looking at the sides first, the angles have the same re relationship then, right? Longer side Longer makes the s bigger angle right across from is it. That all we're doing that's it for Hinge theorem, that is it. Now we just need to write it all out. So here's what we need to have in place. Two triangles with two congruent sides. That's the conditions we need to have in place. And now we say, if the included angle, that means the angle in between them, if the included angle of one triangle is, is has an S in it, is greater then that triangles third that triangles, those triangles? that triangles as in we're referring to the same triangle so if the included angle of one triangle is greater then that triangles third side will be greater no that's a fair question she's trying to this video will be edited later So, the converse, of course, is the same setup. So, two triangles with two congruent sides. And now we say the converse statement. If the third side of one triangle, mind the way, sorry is longer than the included, mm, let's not use that word here then, then the angle opposite is greater. So that is the end. It's the same picture. Same picture? Yeah. <laughs> so if, the, if you have two triangles with two congruent sides, got it right here. Yeah. If the third side of one is longer, well, that would be this side, right? See that? Then the angle opposite, that side is greater. Why did you draw the angle sign? You usually draw the angle sign. Oh, I, I spelled out the angle word this time. You're right. I decided not to be lazy for once in my, <laughs> my life. I don't know why. <laughs> I forgot to do it. I forgot that I was doing it. I was being lazy without being be lazy. lazy. That's awful when your laziness cancels out your other laziness. You just neglect it to be lazy. <laughs> That's so weird. That you're not even <laughs> right? See, two negatives do make a positive, right? Uh. Uh, it doesn't work out. Now, how do we apply this theorem? Well, it's pretty straightforward. So you just make sure you have the conditions in place and then we apply the theorem. <coughs> so we look at the first one, it says compare these two angles. So BAC, so angle BAC is this angle right here. 
and compare it to angle DAC. Well, there's that other angle DAC right there. So they want us to know which one's bigger, which one's smaller. Well, if you notice, between these two triangles, they have one congruent side here, BA and AD, they're congruent. <coughs> And AC is being used by both triangles by the reflexive properties. So we have the conditions necessary to compare these two triangles. <coughs> so look at their third side. Which triangle has the longer third side? ABC or ADC? A -A Simple as one, two, three. Yep, it's longer. So we will say since BC is greater than DC, by the hinge theorem, the measure of angle BAC must be greater than the measure of angle DAC. Pretty straightforward, yeah? A lot of writing, but a pretty easy idea. So compare two triangles, the sides match up, two of the sides match up, then Compare the inside angles, whichever is bigger, got a bigger side right across from it. And whichever's got a longer side, bigger angle right across from it between the two triangles. Wait, Mr. Warren, like between four and four, what, by A, how come you would do like one little Cause angle I was and then on the Right, because these are not congruent to each other. I'm saying look at this angle and look at these two angles, because there's six angles in this picture, right? So I wanted to draw your eyes to these two to compare them. So we saw that across from, uh, we saw that on this triangle, its third side was longer than this triangle's third side, right? Mm -mm. So if this side is longer than this side, then this angle across from it should be bigger than this angle. <coughs> Why did I mark these so that we would then say those are the two that we're looking at and considering? So it wasn't to mark congruency, it was a marker to help us just identify the angles quickly. Because there's all these other angles in the picture. So it was easier to mark them than have to keep saying BAC every time. Fair question. Okay, uh, let's see here. Next question. Again, we're doing a range thing. So it says find the range of values for K. So we're going to have to find the minimum and maximum kind of thing again. So looking at the picture, can we use the hinge theorem? Yeah. What do we need in order to use the hinge theorem? Okay. Do we have two congruent sides between these two triangles? No, not that we know of. Well, we have PL congruent to LM. There's one. Do we have a second one? LN's being used by both triangles. So yes, we do have two congruent sides. So we got them. That we, that's good. You had to check that for yourself. So now you got it. Great. Uh, so that means we can compare the angles. So which third side is longer? So MN is greater than PN. So this, the angle right across from that side should be greater than the angle right across from this side. So the way we would write that then is that 5K minus 12 is what? Equals? Less, less than? Less than ah, less than, because it's a smaller angle, right? Yeah. Less than? Yes. Because we see that this angle, by the hinge theorem, must be less than this angle. Because the side across from it is big, it's smaller than the side across from this one. So smaller side, smaller angle. That's the big thing, right? All right, so now we can solve for K. Um, I'll add 12 to both sides. Remember, solving these are just like solving equations. Only one small addition. So I end up with K needs to be less than 10 degrees. Okay, so we've, we've found the maximum here, haven't we? That's the biggest it can be. It has to be something less than 10. So 9.9, 9.8, 7, 3, any of those numbers are great for us. What we don't know is... What is it? Well, we know the max. What do we not know? The minimum. The minimum. Yeah, we have to find the minimum. And guys, here's the thing. It's, a, it's the smaller of the two angles, right? Yeah. So here's my question for you. What's the smallest an angle can be in a triangle? An acute angle. Oh, a straight line. Right, but what, what measure? What's value? What, what's the smallest an angle can be oh. before it's no longer a triangle? A straight line. Hmm. Uh, point zero, 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 zero. And again, you're trying to answer the question using equals. So think of greater or less than. What oh, must it be greater than? Less than an What's it got to be greater than? Less than the other line. It's got to be greater than zero. Oh. If it's the angle zero, you don't have an angle anymore, right? Something bigger than zero, you now have an angle, right? Yeah. 
0 degrees, 1 degree, sorry, 0 0.2 degrees, 1 degree, 1.8 degrees, 3, 7, any of these numbers are great. Fantastic. So we need this angle to be bigger than 0 degrees. So to get the minimum, we're going to say, hey, take 5K minus 12 and make sure it's l not less than, make sure it's greater than 0 degrees. And now solve. Okay, so if I do the math very quickly, 5K greater than 12, so K must be greater than 2.4 degrees. This tells me my expression should be, hey, make sure that K is bigger than 2.4, but less than 10 degrees.